Good morning guys and welcome to a brand new day. A brand new day with day by day. We are getting school done and I got my boy here. Wait, let's see if it can, look at how cute he is you guys. I'm gonna throw the diaper. Look at how cute. Diaper. Yeah, sometimes he's gotta wear a diaper though. Not all the time, but sometimes. But look, look at how precious he is. He's he like, like he does. Look at how much he loves the him. What's wrong with Oh, did you hear him moaning? Because he loves to be scratched and. He's not moaning. No, what are you saying? Oh. That's a cutie. Yeah, he probably is. He's probably, oh, Mom. What's on the agenda today? At first, the girls are doing homeschool. What are you studying there, Missy? Quarter horses. I'm so, studying Philabella. Philabella. So basically. What happens um, is that when I'm getting ready for the day and cleaning and doing a few no. things, um, the girls uh, do their writing, and sometimes, and so the first part of their writing is copy work that they have. It's the scripture, and then they write reports or they study things. And right now they're writing reports on horses, well, different breeds. Yeah, so they're learning about them. No, you No, you do well, copy work too. Quarter horse is temperament. Four out of four. Yeah, so Gabby no discovered Storm quarter is, horse today. Storm is um. He is not uh, the typical quarter horse, easygoing, is he? He's got kind of a little bit of an attitude, but he is a really good horse. Um, they so. Can go from fourteen three to sixteen hands. Though. Fourteen three to sixteen hands. Yeah. He's in the middle of it. Fourteen he has 15, fifteen two. Yeah. Show the front of your book that Gabby's working on. So the girls have a ton of horse books that they've been collecting their whole entire life. Gabby's is this one, the Encyclopedia of Horses and Ponies that she's using. And somebody wanted to know the name of this book. Uh, Sophie is in love with this one right that's now. A, that's actually my book too. It's called Fact Finding Guide to Horses from Sarah Harris. So that's what the girls are doing right now. The dogs oh, are chilling. Oh, Forest, easy going, sociable breed. Yeah, and that's what he is. Yeah. I'm headed to the doctor. Sam is actually going to drive me because the weather was kind of crazy in the night. Uh, the girls are coming with us. So uh, homeschool is going to be kind of divided today. We've been getting things done around the house every day. When Sam comes here, comes home from work, he stops at our other house and he brings like a load of stuff. So uh, yeah, it's so super messy. Oh, warm-blooded. Is he warm-blooded? Warm-blooded. He's warm-blooded? Um, so... This is our dining room slash office, and it kind of looks a lot like our old office, um, but we are still working on stuff. It is still super messy. Got some paintings hung up in here, making it kind of a little bit warmer. Still a lot of stuff to unpack. And then we're headed to the barn because you know our day is not complete until we head to the barn because Storm's having some issues right now and we need to get it cleared up. But before we go, I'm gonna tell you guys something. Sometimes I feel like I'm so completely open and transparent and then everybody starts freaking out about stuff in the comments and then I realize that maybe I didn't share it the way I meant to, I was meant to share it or I didn't explain it well enough. Um, Storm definitely has ongoing back soreness that happens. Um, with him and we did have a vet out we did um find out what was wrong with him i thought i explained it properly but i'm going to explain it again just so that you guys know but basically he does have an ill fielding saddle it's not terrible it's not actually hurting him every time he rides in it but progressively just having a non perfectly fitting saddle is just not good for him however um, that's not a problem. It's not causing him pain. Uh, what is causing Storm to have a backache is the way Gabby rides him. And the problem is that she's still a nervous rider and when Storm really starts to go forward and pull his back in and he goes faster, she gets nervous and she pulls back. So when she's asking him to go forward, she shuts down the front end and then it creates this this trauma, this injury, this this thing in his back over time. So yeah, it's not ideal. Should she stop riding him? No, she has to learn. She has to get there. She has to keep going. She It's a process. It's a process. Is it good for Storm? No, it's not awesome for Storm, but we keep up his treatments, we keep fixing him and fixing him, and um, once they had told me this a few weeks ago, we made adjustments. We had a chiropractor and we made a plan with the chiropractor, we made a plan with the vet. It was Christmas time. I'm having a trainer ride him regularly um, to build up his top line and to get him going so that he knows what to do and so that Gabby can see it and so that she has a better idea. It's a process, you guys. Like, 
we we can't just be perfect without all of these things that happen that leading up to perfect like we just can't like it's a process we have to go through it i know it's hard for you guys to watch us make mistakes that you already know but we have to make them just like we have to fall off we have to make mistakes so that we learn definitely we'll try to be more open but i think there's a problem when i do tell you guys things and people miss that video and then I get a lot of hate comments saying you know awful things so it, it's a kind of a no-win situation I just ask that you guys trust that we will do what's right for us and for our horses okay so there was a mistake in the scheduling and my doctor's appointment is not actually till tomorrow which kind of sucks because I want to like see my x-ray and I want to read my report and he'll let me and the other doctors didn't really tell me that much so anyway um we came to the house and we've been packing up more stuff to take home. We got a munch pack. Yeah, like yeah, Sophie does munch pack it. on her channel. And yeah, they're like dying to eat it. Um, so the guys came just now to pick up that big, huge bucket that we filled. Which they're like two we, days late. We still have so much stuff in our house, you guys. Like so much stuff. It is a disaster here weather-wise. It is muddy and wet and icy. Aww. She's like, I'm getting out of here. Sophie brought a munch pack with her so that she can share with people at the barn, huh? Uh -huh. When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things you took from me wondering about lately is what do you guys think is better a mixed herd a mare or separate fields for for mare, mares and gullings because I've been doing some research and I've been seeing what like other people do and I have my own opinion I want to see what you guys think what I think is better I want to see if you guys all agree with what I think is better but I don't want to tell you I want you to tell me what you guys think is better and why all you seem to do is lie. those days are gone I walk and talk it's not too bad down here. Up there, it's like all ice. Your hair is so pretty. I know. That's why we had to drive. Can we still move all four feet without using yeah, here? I told Fiona I wanted to try that too. It looks so good. Yogurt Smell. jelly. It smells like good. That smells good. And you got pure strawberry gummies. Yeah. Try them. <laughs> Let's try them. Okay. So your heels. Let your feet come back. Good? Okay. So wow, they're chewy. It's good though. Mm-hmm. Like Let me try that. Those are delicious. Try that. I don't know. I like the one in my mouth. Mmm. Alright, okay, what? What ones are these? This bag is full of gummies. Got blue. This is toxic waste gummies. Toxic waste. Oh, oh, it's sour. That. No, try it. Looks little Teddy Toxic Waste Teddy Bears. Oh, it's not right. sour. Mmm. Mm -mm. I like the texture. Oh, give it a second. Is it sour? It goes away. Is it good? Oh. <laughs> oh my God, they are really sour. Oh, it not. goes away. It goes away. Mmm. We're eating treat box because we didn't have lunch yet, Missy. and Stella's like, oh, I want some treat box. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Don't eat my whole hand. Jeez. That's the sour thing. So sour. She's like, I don't care if it's sour. Oh, she hear I hear her crunching it. She says, I like those. <laughs> this is why I love this mirror. We like the same things. Yeah, you both like the same things. She's like, wow, that was sour. Got any more? All right, so what's happening now is Sophie is gonna cool out storm give him a little ride and Gabby is gonna have a lesson on Miss Stella Sophie's still a little nervous still a little scared but she even said like storm babysits her look at how slow he's going like he changes how he walks when as soon as she gets on there he is such a good horse for us he, we need another storm we need another storm in our life be a good girl Stella you know how to ride her Gabby I feel so different than storm and I feel so small you you feel small on her? 
Because she's so wide? Because she's so short. That's what Kaylee said. She's close to the pony. Yeah. Way closer to the ground.
Good job, Gabby. So Stella got a new blanket. Somebody was selling um, all their old blankets, so I bought them all. And it's an insulated rain sheet, and the weather's really warm today, so she's gonna have this one. And then tomorrow night, we're gonna come and change the blankets, right? So yeah, so this is what she has. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.